guys, it's Bobby with RealMilitaryWives.tv. I apologize in advance for my voice as I am getting over bronchitis. Uh, but I did want to contribute and I've got a hot topic for you. I'm not sure if this affects any of the other branches as much as it affects the United States Navy. Uh, but I want to talk about it anyway. And that is women who are serving in our armed forces. Specifically those who procreate for the purpose of getting out of deployments. I completely... 100% believe that this should be regulated. Now, before you guys start screaming and hollering at me and typing real fast in caps locks, uh, let me explain. I am 100% for women serving in our armed forces. I believe we can do anything a man can do physically, mentally, whatever. I believe that we have every right to have a career and a family. I believe we can do it all. We are women. But I believe that there's a time and a place. If you've signed that contract and you've joined our U.S. forces, you have pretty much said, I will go where I am needed to go when I am needed to go there. It doesn't say, except for when I decide to have a family. If you are an active duty military member, when you are serving on sea duty and you are attached to a sea going ship, that is not the time for you to open your legs and decide to have a family. It's just not. And I can understand one time. I can't understand three, four, five, and six times. There are women who are serving in our U.S. Armed Forces that have spent four and five and six years on temporary duty status because they keep having babies to get out of going on deployment. This affects me as a spouse. It affects my husband as an active duty sailor. It affects everybody from Little Navy on up to Big Navy. Now, I'm not saying that should you happen to get pregnant while you're on birth control on a sea-going command that you should have an abortion. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is there should be some sort of regulation, like first time, okay, fine. Second, third, fourth, fifth time, no, I'm sorry. You're gone. So the bottom line here, don't open your legs if you're on sea duty.